Hey there, my name is Alexis Yatujas Derryberry, and I'm a music teacher in Las Casas, Tennessee. I am so excited to be a part of the CMA Summer Music Camp Series. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a silent bass guitar. I learned this in a workshop that was put on by Susan Ramsey in Nashville. All you need to make your silent bass guitar is some yarn, doesn't matter what color, and some scissors. The bass guitar is part of the string family and the guitar family. The bass guitar is the lowest sounding instrument in the guitar family. For centuries, the upright double bass could be heard in concert halls across the world. But in the mid 20th century, the bass guitar emerged and can now be heard in all genres of music, pop, rock, country, R&B, and even hip hop. The bass guitar is part of the rhythm section in popular music. The rhythm section usually consists of a drum set and the bass guitar. Sometimes a piano can be added to the rhythm section. Let's talk about how a bass guitar produces sound. A musician has to pluck one of the strings and that causes vibration. Those vibrations travel through the air to the listener's ear. Depending upon the speed of the vibration or the wave, that determines if the sound is a high pitch or a low pitch. Let's listen to what a bass guitar sounds like. set to the bass guitar. That creates our rhythm section. Let's keep a steady beat while we listen. Listen again and show me the sound of the bass. some iconic notation for the low, middle, and high of the bass. Notice we have a repeated pattern. In music, this sign means repeat, and a repeated pattern in music is called an ostinato. We have our low, middle, and higher pitches. Let's look at it with the music. Point along to the low, middle, and high.
repeated pattern is called? That's right, it's an ostinato. Let's try it one more time because we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on our silent bass guitar. Let's try it together, here we go. Ostinato. We know the repeated pattern that the bass guitar is playing. Let's get our bass guitars ready. Now that we've learned about the bass guitar, it's time to make our silent bass guitar. You need some yarn and you'll need an adult to help you cut the yarn. Here's how long you need it. You want to be able to have the yarn reach your foot all the way to your ear and you need a little bit extra. So that is about how long I need it. I'm going to cut. You need to get an adult to help you, please. And now we're going to take our string, our bass guitar, and we need to make a slip knot so that we can put the part of the bass over our foot. Here's how you make a slip knot. Here's how you make a slip knot. Take your string and take one end of it. You want to loop that around the other part of your string so that it looks like this. Now we want to make a loop and we're going to pull this part through to create a knot. And now we have a slip knot. You can slip it down to make the loop bigger or you can tighten it to make the loop smaller. That's how you make a slip knot. All right, so now it's time to play our bass. We're going to take our string, we've got our slip knot here, and that part is going to go over our foot. The rest of the string, you want to make sure you can reach your ear, and you want to close the flap that's on your ear. Don't put your finger in your ear, but close that flap that's in your ear. And that will allow the vibrations to travel up the yarn into your ear. You're gonna wrap this around your finger, not too many times, and then let's close that part on our ear. Now, when my string is really tight, that makes my string smaller, so the pitch is higher. You can't hear it, but I can hear it. When I make my string looser, it makes the string bigger, and that gives it a lower sound. So I can make it higher by tightening the string. So I can play the bass line that we heard. All right, so now let's try our low, middle, and high pitches with the music. coming up your string and into your ear for your silent bass guitar. Let's do it together one more time. guitar and learning how to make your own silent bass guitar with me today. 
I encourage you to continue to make music this summer, whether you're singing, banging on pots or pans, or using your silent bass guitar. Keep making music all summer long.